Today's class is a good morning stretch, perfect for when you don't want to do too much, but you need to get up and get your body moving. So we won't even stand up in this class. We'll focus on some seated stretches and we'll end up in downward dog. I recommend having one blanket for this class just to have something to sit on for our seated portion. So if you don't have that, you can do this without any props. So grab your blanket and we'll begin this class seated. If you're using your blanket, fold that up and sit just your butt on the blanket. Let your legs actually be off of the blanket to just give yourself a little more elevation. And then to begin, bringing your hands in front of you, clasp together, and we'll start with some little wrist circles. Slow your circles down, change direction. and slow those circles again. Flip your hands, open them up, and then let your hands peel apart. Maybe a little stretch with the fingers. And give your wrist a couple circles, a little shake out. And then relax your hands back to your lap. Shoulder rolls. So alternate, take one shoulder back and then the other. If this feels really weird or uncoordinated for you, you can do them both at one time. And take a few more with the shoulders moving backwards. And then take a pause and start to bring the shoulders forward in the roll. And take a couple more of these Rolls going forward. And relax your arms back down. And then reach your arms up over your head. Grab onto one wrist, pull it up and stretch it over. See if you can keep that side of your hip down on your blanket as you try to stretch into your arm and your waist. One more breath on this side, maybe a little pull, a little more stretch. And then let your hands go, switch, grab the opposite wrist, pull it up and over, root the hip down, stretch your side. One more breath here, a little pull with the arm, and release. And one more stretch for the sides, this time arms on the ground. So keep your left hand down, start to tip over till your left hand hits the mat, and then reach your right arm up and stretch it over as far as is comfortable for you. Reach the right arm. And cartwheel your arms, switch sides, right hand down to the mat till that hits, and then reach the left arm up and over. One more breath, reach. And bring your arms back down. Take a couple little shoulder rolls if you need here. And then connecting our breath with some movement with the arms. So taking a really gentle spinal twist, not trying to twist all the way around behind us or anything. Hands up by the sides. Take a slow, deep inhale. Reach your arms up. And then when you exhale, twist your body, drop your arms down. Inhale, back up, reach up, and exhale, twist to the other side. Slow, deep breaths, and twisting in a very gentle way. However, this feels good for you. Take about one more breath to each side. And 
when you're even on your twisting sides, come back to center. Again, if you need a couple shoulder rolls. And then if your legs are extended straight out in front of you, take a moment to bring them into a cross-legged position. We're gonna take a really gentle forward fold. So be nice to your body. We just woke up this morning. So from your cross-legged position, start to walk your hands forward a little bit. You may feel sensation in the hips, the legs, your lower back. Whenever you get to where it feels like a gentle stretch and it feels nice, it's not painful, stop there, take a few breaths. Begin to walk your hands back, coming back up to sit and cross your legs the other way. And another gentle fold. Start to walk your hands forward. Take a few breaths here. And start to walk your hands back again. And then coming into windshield wipers with our legs, you might want to remove that blanket from underneath you. Create enough space so that you can lean back on your hands and we'll windshield wiper the knees to each side. So don't worry if your legs don't go all the way down to the ground. You can always pick up your hips too and get a little more twist, but only if that feels all right with your lower back. take a couple more windshield wipers and then the next time that you feel even on your sides begin to bring yourself back up to sit and we will make our way over into our tabletop if you want some padding under your knees in your tabletop grab your blanket here and once you're comfortable in tabletop we'll begin with cat and cow Moving with your breath, if that feels good this morning. Otherwise, just moving with your spine. So you might want to inhale as you fill your belly up, and then exhale as you pull your belly in and around your spine. So again, however this feels good this morning for you. Maybe including your neck and your head, if that feels all right. Take one more cat and cow breath. Coming back into tabletop, moving into our barrel roll. Push your ribs to the side, belly back down, ribs go to the other side, and then rounding back up. Like you're scraping your rib cage around in a barrel. Take one more barrel roll the direction you're going. Slow it down and really stretch your ribs around. Then take a pause, go in the other direction. One more barrel roll, slow it down, stretch your way around. And once you're back in table, give your body a little wiggle if it needs. 
And if it would feel good for you, take a stretch in child's pose. Maybe widen up your knees, let your butt sink back towards your heels. Reach your arms forward or make yourself a little pillow. Begin to lift out of your child's pose. Come back up to table. And then take your right leg, reach it straight back behind you, and then drop your foot down, having your foot flexed so you're pressing into the ball of your foot, and maybe finding some stretch along the back side of your right leg. Let go of that push with the right foot and then point your right toes. Put the top of your right foot down and you might feel some stretch then on the front side of your right leg. And let that go, pick up the right leg, maybe give your right ankle a few circles in each direction. And then set your right leg down. Extend your left leg, reach it straight back, flex the foot and drop down. Push into the ball of the left foot, so stretching the back of the left leg. Let go of that press, point your left toes and then drop the top of your left foot down. Let go of that press, pick up your left leg, maybe give that left ankle some circles. Take it both directions. And then set the left leg down. Taking one more stretch here in tabletop for our neck. So lift your head up, look straight in front of you, and then you can kind of arch your back like cat pose. See if you can lift your head up, look up to the ceiling, and then Pull your chin a little bit, wiggle it side to side, maybe feel some stretch in the front of the neck. Let that go, opposite, round back up like cat pose, not the other one. Round up like cat pose, tuck your chin in. Back to table and then take your head to each side, left ear to the left shoulder and then right ear to your right shoulder. And then if it feels okay, take a couple gentle circles with your head. Change direction. Coming back to tabletop and taking one more stretch in child's pose. Begin to lift up out of child's, come back to table. Do you need any other sort of little stretch here? Take a moment to take a stretch. Now we're going to be heading to downward dog. So this is optional. If you'd rather just hang out in tabletop or child's pose and do some other stretching or breathing, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, take a moment to remove your blanket from underneath you and we will head into downward dog. From tabletop, moving into your downward dog, always making any adjustments you need for your body so this is comfortable in all of your joints, wrist, elbow, shoulders, hips, spine. Keep your knees bent here. Think about lengthening the arms and the back, trying to keep the knees bent so you can find that length in the upper body. And if it feels good, maybe bend and straighten one knee at a time here. Take a little stretch. 
Maybe take your feet a little bit wider than hip distance, maybe as wide as your mat, and then do some bend and straightening and moving with the hips. And if you like three-legged dog, you can lift one leg up into the air, bend the knee, and stretch it out. And if you're in three-legged dog, taking a moment to swap them out. Take a few more breaths in your down dog, any stretching you like. And then begin to make your way back to tabletop and back to child's pose. Take about five breaths. And from child's pose, start to make your way back up and find a comfortable seat. Thank you so much for joining me for class this morning. I hope you enjoyed this good morning stretch and you're ready to go have a great day.